So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Alexios! Brasida sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphibolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? Brasidas needs my help. I plan on giving it to him. Though, should our paths cross, I won't hesitate to kill Cleon. Whatever you decide, remember he's only a man. I can't promise anything. Be safe.
Vasilas. Alexios, good to see you. Alive. Pilos didn't go as planned. At least they didn't get my battle arm. I'm glad you're all right. I was happy to get your message. I'm happy it got to you in time. Tell me what happened after the battle. They found me wounded. I was taken back to Sparta and given time to heal. My leg won't be the same, but they didn't kill me. No Spartan got off easy. I was captured and brought to Athens. Athens? That rubs salt into the wound. Proof there's still work to be done. There always is. So Cleon's here? He's close, somewhere outside the city walls. He intends to take Amphipolis. For once, he plans to fight with his men. He was disgraced in Athens. He needs to win back their respect. A chance at retribution? Can't let that happen, can we? Cleon's here. We need to move. Easy. First, we need to find him. We're outnumbered, and our spies say he's already sent for Athenian reinforcements. All the more reason to act. You've proven yourself. It's a risk, but I trust you. We're going to stop Cleon. I give you my word. Good. Let's move quickly. Today, we give everything we have. No giving up. The Athenians are here! Spartans, charge! Archers on the wall! They need to be shot down! Now! to Hades!
Unfortunately for you, it is. It's not too late, you know. You can still join us. We're not in Athens. You can't talk your way out of this. Why won't you just leave me alone? Alexios, come now. Show mercy. You turned her against us. My own sister. We lifted Themos up. We made her great, unstoppable. You made her a monster! Then fight by her side! Teacher, you would have Themos once again! Her name is Cassandra. I beg you! This world is severed, Alexios, and we'll unite it! Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty! Have pity! You don't deserve a quick death. But you'll learn what you need at the gates of Hades. No. No Neil. You don't understand. Ugh. No one will forget me. Cleon of Athens. I will be remembered. You're already forgotten. That's it then. Mirini will want to know Cleon is dead. And Brasidas. I should have gotten to the most sooner. I'm sorry, my friend.
What do you need? I'll see you soon. to you. Good day to you.
My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my daughter? Cleon fired an arrow into Vimos's back. The wound didn't look fatal. She could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mother, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taeyetos, where it all began. My whole life's been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. This is where everything changed. It's like I never left. Cassandra! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Cassandra! Please! You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult! I tried to save you! I did everything! The priests told me you were dead! And they told me you abandoned your daughter! Cassandra! Come to me! We are your family. We can go home. Family? Home? <laughs> my sword is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promised to bring her back, Mater. 
But the cult has poisoned her mind. Promised to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> you didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our Mater the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one! I'm the one with a destiny! I will bring order to this world! You're nothing but a mercenary with a broken spear. The cult controls your destiny, but you don't need them. Together, we can destroy them and bring peace back to this world. Peace? And what under Ilios would you do with yourself if there was peace? Milk the goats? <laughs> Look at you! Oh, mighty Mistios! You profit from this war as much as I do. You don't want peace. You just don't want to deal with me. What I want, what I've always wanted, is my family. When I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in a world of beasts, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead, and my destiny is clear. I won't let you get in my way. Cassandra, listen to me. You're my sister. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I won't fail again. Thank you. 
Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. There's more to being the best than pure strength. That's an excuse for the weak. I'll show you who's weak. Well, at least the family is all together. I'll get more wine. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? I can't believe I have a family again. The gods work in mysterious ways. You never know what they have planned. Someone's kept their eye on me. You're special! Look at the life they've blessed you with! Not so bad, if you think of it all. That's optimistic, considering. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you.
Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one, because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid either. Many are, because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. Think wisely, although no one can truly know anything. Think wisely, although no one can truly know anything. <sighs> Phoebe. I treated her like a child. With the intent to protect her, you were not only her friend, but her guardian. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. He had to keep to himself. He was always being pursued by something or someone. By protecting himself, he was protecting Athens from ruin. Aspasia may have been the only one who truly knew him. This war has taken so many. Even Vrasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. 
I helped him all I could. He was my friend. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. Apparently, soldiers found Cleon on the beach. A casualty of war, perhaps? Couldn't say. It's hard to recall what happens in the heat of battle. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Alexios killed the monger as an act of espionage. That's exciting. Write a scene like that. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To us, who have persisted through everything. And to those who wanted to persist. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs>